Finally, Forza Horizon 5. It is real in Mexico and it's coming out this year, November. Very exciting things. I'm Alex7 and we got some gameplay as well as a new Forza Horizon 5 trailer that I'm about to go and talk to you guys about in today's video. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is that the game looks stunning. Graphically, it is... <laughs> It is incredible, like words can't explain. What you guys see right now is all in-game footage and they don't cap about it. It looks like, yo, listen, you guys see me, I am speechless. The reflections, the lighting, it looks incredible. And of course, in this trailer, we were teased a couple of more other things from Baja trucks to other vehicles. The Ford Bronco you guys see right now is in Forza Horizon 5, which makes a lot of sense as well. You can see the customization on the body kits, etc, etc. In fact, the detail Mike Brown was talking about, which is one of the directors of Forza Horizon, he was saying the actual detail goes as far as the individual needles on the cacti, which by the way is plural for cactus, because it's not cactuses, it's cacti, if you did not know. And of course you got the Porsche driving off, you have these beautiful reflections that you can see all across this entire trailer. Again, captured in game, the suspension you can see working, you can also see the dust storms which looks like a very exciting gameplay feature. It definitely captures the whole entire vibe of Mexico. That is one thing I gotta say, Playground games know how to do their art direction, they are brilliant at it. But that is the trailer, you can see at the end you have some lava in the bottom of it. But let's go ahead and talk gameplay, because the gameplay is just as equally good, if not better. Okay, so now let's talk gameplay. The gameplay was just as equally good. Now, Mike Brown, the creative director of Playrun Games, talks us along, and he was giving us a lot of insight into Forza Horizon 5, from the details such as recording the skies in HDR, and then pointing it into the game at 8K live. It looks stunning, and the reflections, the dynamic lighting, also, it will still feature four seasons, however, different biomes have different features such as the snow up in the blizzards on the mountains or the sandstorm in the deserts and this can all happen simultaneously in the different biomes based on what Mike Brown has said here. Now the more interesting thing is what he talks about in terms of gameplay and progression. He said that is the first point that led us to thinking, well you add value to those guys by giving them a bigger and more diverse world to explore. This was I think the very start point of knowing that we needed Forza Horizon 5 to be a bigger game, we needed it to be a more diverse game. We also want it to be a game that really rewards exploration, so it's now a world where there is just that much more to find. There's a challenge system that rewards you as you explore and there's different things to find but also there's a campaign that really enforces it very well. So campaign, progression, it definitely sounds like they're going for a more focused progression which yo listen bro 4005 could be the game if they just get progression right. It already looks stunning, they're just missing a large and diverse map which they have definitely scratched off diverse off the list. But map size wise, we're just going to have to wait and see. But it's going to be very interesting to actually get our hands on the game and figure out what's going to be happening in terms of story progression. But Mike Brown definitely looks to be saying that they're going to be focusing on that a lot more than the previous games. Now what I just showed you was the gameplay in the forest, but now you can see another beautiful scenery area, or I should say scenic area with the AMG one. Look at the reflections off that. Now there's no ray tracing in the actual gameplay such as this, but, but in Forza Horizon Vista, you will see ray tracing. So, my god, it is there. You can see the Senna, the Jesco, a couple of other buggies jumping around, but it looks, the lighting, 
<laughs> the lighting looks insane. Like, these guys are playing no games. And if you didn't know, fun fact, Mike Brown was also the guy who decided to work on Motorstorm and also Drive Club over at Evolution Studios. Now, the most important part of the gameplay that I don't think a lot of you guys noticed was that this, the McLaren had a convertible working, which is very exciting. The one feature that I don't know why it wasn't in Forza Horizon 3 or 4, but they finally brought it into Forza Horizon 5. TDU fans, unite. The one feature that we always said that TDU revolutionized is now in Forza Horizon 5. Now, I assume houses, I don't think they're going to be doing that. I think that's going too far on what Forza Horizon is trying to aim for. But nonetheless, listen, it looks incredible. Now here's just another scenic crew, and listen, it kind of reminds me of a nice tropical island, something that is diverse, has a ton of different biomes. And the thing is, TDUSC, the location is key, because it's going to matter a lot, especially when you're going up against this. Because, listen, Playground Games did not come to play. They definitely showed us what you can do in terms of graphic power as well as just... Uh, don't even get me started, bro. I cannot wait to see and play Forza Horizon 5. But here, you just see some more gameplay drifting around in the main city. And actually, the Eliminator game mode, by the way, if you did not know, that is going to be returning. And then again, you just have more diverse geostructures. Look at the cliffs. Yo, they, listen, th like I said, Playground Games, they are very good at capturing a location's vibe. They did England well, honestly, as much as I don't like the size of the map and where it was, they definitely captured what that whole world represents very well. And I honestly expect the very much same in Forza Horizon 5. And like I said, Lighting looks incredible. I can't wait to see what Kill Tone have in store for TDSC because like I said, graphically they really have to match it. Not match it, but even just be a little bit behind, it would help a lot in terms of TDSC getting the title of the best open world racer coming in the next year. And again, back in the forest, like I said, the art direction is incredible. They really captured Forza Horizon and like I said, Forza Horizon, you guys I'm sure you also can agree with me, it is stunning and looking at it like this, the reflections, ray tracing which I wish was in the game, maybe it'll be on PC, but on consoles ray tracing is only in Forza Vista. Maybe we will see ray tracing on PC enabled in the actual game mode because I'm pretty sure maybe PCs, especially high end, will be able to actually handle it. Now we were also shown a new gameplay mode which you guys can see right here called Pinata. And of course we ended off the gameplay trailer with this. Just the AMG1 sitting in a beautiful stance. But guys, listen, if they get the map size a lot larger compared to Forza Horizon 4, this could be the game. And I cannot wait to see what Nakon Connect has in store for us on July 7th. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. And will you be picking up Forza Horizon 4? Well, sorry, Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> Bro, listen, I cannot wait for this game. Other than that, I'm Ox7, and I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out. Peace.